Welcome to FL Studio Mobile. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the drum pads tab in detail. The first thing to note is, depending on what instrument you have selected in the tracks tab, will determine if this tab has drums or a piano keyboard. So if I select the piano type instrument, we get a keyboard. If I select the step type instrument, we get drum pads. All instruments are classified as either step or piano type. So here they are. By selecting the Instruments tab, you can easily change the whole drum kit with a single click. Back to the drum pads, and the sounds have changed. Okay, back to FL Basic. What if you only want to replace a single pad? Let's change the crash to something else from the kit. To do that, tap the Tracks tab, and make sure you are in the Step Sequence of View. Then locate the step channel that corresponds to the pad. We have six channels that map to the six pads. I'll replace the crash. Tap the channel button to open the channel controls. Then click the load sample button and select from the other sounds in the instrument. Each instrument has quite a few samples that are not used by default. Up to 28 samples. From those I'll select cowbell. Don't forget you can change the panning, volume, attack and release of each pad here too. So let's go back to our drum pads, and here's our cowbell. The world needs more cowbell, so make sure you use plenty of it in your tracks. What if six drum pads just isn't enough? Well, the boffins at ImageLine have thought of that too. To add pads, go back to the step sequencer and click the plus button, and you'll get a new pad from the instrument each time you do it. Here I've added the full 25 pads in this instrument. 28 pads is the maximum you can have. The zoom button up here can come in handy when you have lots of pads going on. So once you have your sounds loaded, you can of course press record and play them in live, or you can program them from the step sequencer. Until next time, enjoy using your drum pads.